facilities all around the world, including here in Jackson, chose June 30th as a day of protest. They are trying to bring awareness to all the crimes against humanity and massacres currently going on in Sudan. There is a lot of violence, there is a lot of killing, people is being massacred in the streets and nobody hears anything about them. Just because the internet service is blocked from the whole country, so there is no pictures, no videos of what's going on right now. Yusuf and protesters from across the region gathered in front of the Mississippi State Capitol building with signs, chanting, and informing everyone about the tragedies happening in their home country. There's some people who came from their neighbor states, Louisiana, Tennessee, Arkansas, and Alabama. They came here all gathered in front of the Capitol to show that we have an issue. We have something that's going on in Sudan. We all stand here to make sure that government in Sudan to be handed back to civilians. The conflict began at the months of civilian protests against President Omar Hassan al-Bashir, who was ousted by a military coup in April. After al-Bashir's arrest, a military council and civilian protesters originally agreed to a three-year transition period to a democratic government. But the peaceful transition fell apart on June 3rd when the military opened fire on a pro-democracy demonstration. Uh, around 200 people were murdered by the transition military council where they're trying to disperse the, the sit-in that was organized around the military area. Sudanese all around the world protested as an act of solidarity with Sudan protesters who are flooding the streets demanding the military council step down. After the death of Mohammed Mater during the June 3rd attack, people around the world, including celebrities, are wearing blue to show support for the cause. A lot of celebrities here in America, that they've, they've shown some solidarity with that by putting blue profile pictures like Rihanna and uh, some other guys. You see a lot of people today is actually wearing blue as uh, just to make sure that we are actually put our issue out there for the world. The Sudanese government killed 500 people. The Sudanese international protest hopes that other countries will intervene to stop the killing and help bring democracy to Sudan. We want the government to be handed back to civilians. We want democracy, we want elections, we want people who are being selected by the, by the people of Sudan and not being really uh, you know, appointed by the military. Reporting for WJTV 12, Anthony Howard. We, we don't need them to rule Sudan.